another episode of the Jarring Science Club. I'm your host, Brenda, and today we're going to be making crystals with ammonia and laundry bluing. Here's what you need. Some ammonia, some laundry bluing, some salt, some sponges, some jars, and some water. Here's how you do it. In your bowl, mix two tablespoons of ammonia, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of laundry bluing, and one tablespoon of salt. Mix this up and then set it aside. Cut your sponge pieces into little squares and fill your jar with them. Pour your bluing mixture over the sponges in your jar. Set this mixture in a dry, cool place and let the crystals grow for several days to several weeks. Over time, your crystal jars are going to blossom in these beautiful structures that just keep growing and growing. These crystals are very delicate, so be very careful when you're exploring them because they will fall apart easily. I let ours grow for about two weeks, and this is what they look like. These crystals started as little tiny blooms, just like they are here on the outside of the jar, and then slowly grew and grew over time to make these elaborate structures that started growing vertically. In this jar, all the crystals grew up around the side and made kind of a mushroom shape. It's very interesting how the different mixtures in the jar grew in different ways, but all of them have a much more organic looking texture than our original salt crystals. And that's thanks to the addition of the ammonia and the laundry bluing. You can see how the addition of the bluing really changed the texture of these to make them much more organic looking. These are our bluing crystals. They have this powdery kind of texture that looks very organic. The crystals themselves are very delicate and dissolve into powder almost instantly when you break them. They also have a very soft texture. If you want the 14 page worksheet packet and lesson plan for this activity, you can find that in the Jarring Science Club. Go to jarringscience.com to become a member and get access to this lesson plan and hundreds of other fun science lessons for kids. That's it for today. See you next time.